Hello everyone, welcome to our English class, Ventures 2. Today we are going to talk about, we are going to continue to look into lesson unit 4. We are going to continue to talk about health and today we will talk about a have to and must okay uh, don't forget that if you have any questions write them down and send me a message later with your questions okay uh, it's very important for you to communicate with me so that you can be successful in this class um you have my contact information and so i do encourage you to come up with your questions okay so open your books get your student book and open your book on page 48 you're going to be looking at have to plus verb um, it's a uh, it's very important for you to pay attention to this class so first I need you to focus on this slide, okay? Have to plus verb. Unit four, lesson C. You have to see a doctor. Watch and listen. Use have to before a base verb to indicate something is necessary. What do I have to do? You have to rest. What does he have to do? He has to get an x-ray. What does she have to do? She has to use crutches. What do they have to do? They have to go lie down. Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Ask the question. What do I have to do? Look at the picture. Listen to the question. Answer the question. You have to take some aspirin. What does he have to do? He has to get an x-ray. What does she have to do? She has to use crutches. What do they have to do? They have to go lie down. Let's review. What do I have to do? You have to see a doctor. What does he have to do? He has to see a doctor. What does she have to do? She has to see a doctor. What do they have to do? They have to see a doctor. Okay. So now using have to plus verb. Here are some things you have to remember. First, remember when you have the simple present, the simple present, you use do and does when you want to make a ne negative statement or an interrogative statement, right? Do you remember that? So, when you have have to plus verb, you use it to indicate when something is necessary. But look, have to is not a helper verb. So don't treat have to as a helper verb. So when you have to make a negative statement or an interrogative statement, you have to use a helper verb. 
in this case, do, does, okay? This is very important for you to remember. So again, have to, don't treat have to like you treat should. No, 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 no. Have to does not function as a helper verb. What it means is when you want to make a negative statement, you have to use don't or doesn't. And when you have, and when you want to make an interrogative statement, when you want to ask a question, you have to use a helper verb, do or does. This is very important for you to understand. H have to plus verb, when you want to express the idea of something is necessary, you need to use do or does when making a negative statement or when making a question, okay? Don't forget that. Do you have any questions? Write them down and ask me later, okay? So now what I need you to do, I need you to practice a little bit. So let's go to exercise 2A, exercise 2A, let's go there. And we're gonna do exercise, we're gonna do this exercise and then we're gonna correct this exercise together, okay? Uh, one more thing I want to remind you is this. Let's go back a little bit. Also, because we are using the verb have, it's very important when for you to remember when we talk about he or she, okay? When we when you talk about he or she, we use has. Remember that, okay? When you are using have to plus verb in the present tense, he or and she, you're gonna have has to plus a verb, okay? This is something that I want you to pay attention to that. And, okay, so now let's go to our exercise 2A. I'm going to give you some time to complete the exercise, and then we are going to do um, correction together, okay? Just do the exercise.
Well, I hope you had no major difficulties with this exercise. I think it's pretty straightforward. So exercise 2A, complete the conversations. Use have to or has to. Number one, Elion hurt his leg. He has to get an x-ray. Okay, that's the example. So let's go to number two. Kathy and Tom have asthma. They have to take their medicine. They have to take their medicine. Okay. Number three, are your eyes bad? Yes, they are. I have to wear glasses. I have to wear glasses. Number four, Marsha has a sprained ankle. She has to get a pair of crutches. She has to because it's third person singular. So you use has to. So she has to get a pair of crutches. She has to get a pair of crutches. Okay. Number five, Nick and Tony had an accident at work. They have to fill out an accident report. They have to fill out an accident report. Number six, Pam hurt her back. Pam hurt her back. She has to go home early. She has to go home early. Pay attention here. She, again, third person singular, you use has to. Number seven, do you have asthma? Yes, I do. I have to use an inhaler. I have to use an inhaler. Number eight, my son broke his arm. You have to take him to the hospital. You have to take him to the hospital. Okay? Easy or difficult? What do you think? Let me see what's the what's next for us here. Um, let's go to our workbook. Okay. Let's skip and go to our workbook. Let's go to our workbook, page 46. Let's do exercises one and exercises two again you have to exercise one you have to complete with have to or has to and then exercise two again you have to use have to or has to to answer the questions okay you see how here on exercise number two you have some information in parentheses when to build your answer to the question Okay, I'm going to give you some time. Just try to answer the questions, then we're going to do the correction after you finish, okay?
Okay, so I think you finish your exercises. So let's go ahead and move on with a correction here. Number exercise number one, workbook page 46. Exercise one, complete the conversations, use have to or has to. So number one, Linda hurt her hand. What does she have to do? She has to see a doctor. This is the example. Let's go to number two. Rod hurt his back. What does he have to do? He, because it's third person singular, he has to stay home today. He has to stay home today. Okay, don't forget that. Number three. Jimmy broke his arm. What do we have to do? We have to take Jimmy to the hospital. We have to take Jimmy to the hospital. Number four, I have a headache. What do I have to do? You have to go home early. You have to go home early. Number five, Tim broke his leg. What does he have to do? He has to use crutches. He has to use these crutches. He has to use these crutches, okay? And number six, Jerry and Charlie have asthma. What do they have to do? They have to take their medicine. They have to take their medicine, okay? Any questions? Please write your questions down and send to me later, okay? Let's go ahead and correct exercise number two. Number one, Jesse sprained his ankle. What does he have to do? He has to use crutches, okay? This is the example. Now let's go to number two. Mary burned her hand. What does she have to do? She has to see the doctor. She has to see the doctor. Number three, Irvin broke his arm. What does he have to do? He has to get an x-ray. He has to get an x-ray. Number four, Elian hurt his hand at work. What does he have to do? He has to fill out an accident report. He has to fill out an accident report. And number five, Rosa has a headache. What does she have to do? She has to take medicine. She has to take medicine. Okay? Um, page, page 47, exercise three and four. I hope you do it later as a homework, okay? So if you have any questions, just let me know. We are gonna now take a short break and get ready for part two, okay? Let's take a break.